Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to integrate your app service with your virtual network. For that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a few resources on Azure. As you can see, I'm going to first create this resource group and then I'm going to create this app service plan and uh, the app service I will be creating later on the portal. I'm using this script to uh, speed up the process so that we'll uh, save time. And, uh, and then I'm going to create this virtual network and then I'm going to deploy this virtual machine inside of that virtual network. After that, I will be installing this sample web server on this virtual machine so that we can invoke it from our web application. Now let me copy uh, these commands here and execute it on my Azure PowerShell here. All right, it is executing now. Until this gets created, let's understand what you're going to do today. So we are creating this virtual network and inside of that virtual network, we are creating this subnet and in that subnet, we are deploying this virtual machine one. And after that, we are creating this web application and then we are going to integrate this web application with this virtual, um, virtual network. There are a few things that you should know when you do this app service VNet integration. This allows you to access resources in or through a VNet. And this VNet integration does not make your web application a private one. It is still a public web application, but you can access resources that are deployed in a virtual network. If you want to go fully private, you can try something like app service environment. And there are two types of virtual network integrations and those are regional VNet integration and gateway required VNet integration. What we're doing today is a regional VNet integration because both the VM and the, um, the virtual network and also the web application is within the same region. But if you want to go across regions, you can try something like gateway required VNet integration. And your app service should be on standard pricing tier or above to do this. And after you have configured this, you can still use virtual network features such as uh, NSGs and routing tables. All right, I have just uh, deployed all the resources. So now let me go to my Azure portal and click refresh and go into the, uh, the resource group I have created. And if you look here, I have created this virtual machine and app service plan and all that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to SSH into this virtual machine. I'm going to copy this IP address and going back to the PowerShell. All right, now I'm copying this command to install this uh, web server. All right, Apache service ready and I'm going to insert this message to index.html here so that we can just invoke it from our web application. All right, now that we have our virtual machine ready on Azure, let me go back to create our web application. Now I'm going to click on create and click on um, web application create button as well. And this is the resource group that I want this application to be in. Um, and I'm going to name it uh, demo app. I will be deploying a .NET Core application and the region is Southeast Asia and this matters because our virtual network is in Southeast Asia region and I'm going to select this existing app service plan that we have created with our PowerShell script. I am not going to configure any deployment or monitoring here. I'm just going to review and create and I'm creating the web application. All right, the resource is ready. Let me click on go to resource to go into this um, this thing here. And I'm going into advanced tools and uh, I'm going into this uh, environment where I can access the PowerShell. So basically what we are going to do is we are going to allow this web application to access the VM that we have deployed inside of that virtual network. And now it's time for us to allow this web application, this app service to access the virtual network and for that we have to do this virtual network integration and I'm going into this uh, tab here networking tab and I'm clicking on this VNet integration button here and as you can see we have this button to add VNet so I'm clicking on it as you can see we have one virtual network here the one that we have created 
there are two options we can select an existing subnet but we cannot select this one because uh, we have already deployed our virtual machine into this one so let me click on create new subnet and i'm going to name it subnet for app service um, and then i'm going to select the address block of this virtual network and now let me add the subnet address it's going to be something like this and i'm going to click ok so this we need integration this app service will be deployed into the subnet that we have just specified now if i go to this advanced services and i'm going into powershell here yeah i'm getting this message forbidden by its access permissions so this is happening because we haven't allowed this traffic to our virtual machine and for that i am going into this resource group again and as you can see we have a network security group attached to the uh, the interface of this vm i'm clicking on it now and i'm going to inbound security rules and i'm going to click add and as you can see we have some configuration that we can do and i'm going to change this destination So that it is our VM that is selected and the service is going to be a um, HTTP and all the settings are the same let me change the uh, the name of this inbound security rule and click add all right as you can see we have the security rule now let me try again as you can see we are getting this message um, so the connection is successful now let me go to my Visual Studio and do something uh, that is a little bit more uh, interesting. So here I have an ASP.NET application and I have added this, um, this thing here to send an HTTP request to this, um, this local IP address and it is displaying the content that it receives. So I'm going to deploy this service to Azure. Now I'm going to select this uh, web application that we have just created and I'm going to click finish and publish this. All right, as you can see, we are getting this message from our virtual machine. Hope you learned something new today. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If you want to be updated with my future videos, please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.